Dawn on the African savanna. As the sun rises, giving heat and life to the planet below, another child is admitted to hospital with pneumonia. Every year, 1.8 million children die of respiratory infections, the most common killer of children worldwide. Oxygen therapy, routinely administered in resource-rich hospitals, is not available in many areas of the world where most of these deaths occur. Our idea is to provide life-saving oxygen to the remotest village children by using abundant, free African resources, the sun and the air. Oxygen can be delivered in resource-poor settings from pressurized oxygen cylinders, but this requires a system of oxygen manufacturing, transportation of heavy cylinders, and frequent refilling. But oxygen is freely available from the air all around us, which contains 21% oxygen. Oxygen concentrators are available that take room air, extract the oxygen, and deliver oxygen-enriched air for the patient to breathe. Oxygen therapy can be monitored non-invasively using pulse oximetry. But how can we do this in settings with unreliable electricity or no power at all? The sun is a freely available source of energy which can be harnessed to provide electricity using solar panels. So we're here at the Jinja Regional Referral Hospital with Timothy, who's two years old. This is his third admission and he requires oxygen. By marrying these technologies, oxygen concentration, non-invasive pulse oximetry and solar energy, we propose to develop a robust mobile prototype that could reach the deepest village, harnessing the power of the sun to split the air and deliver life-sustaining oxygen to the sickest children.